All right, boys, listen up. I know I've made my fair share of waking vigil videos in the past, but I, I gotta make another one. It's, it's not my choice, but waking vigil did just get a buff along with the dire promise, Jack Queen King, and for whatever reason, spare rations as well. Not too sure why those last two got thrown in there because they're literally sunset, but waking vigil, you know, nonetheless, it did get a buff and somebody did also ask for it in the comments. I'll quickly throw that on the screen. Now he basically said, I don't know why, but PVP this season has been fun for me. Now I don't encourage drug use. So like just we're, we're going to skip to the bottom of the comment because I don't, I don't know what he was talking about. Also try out waking vigil after the buff. So that's what we're doing. Now for anyone who doesn't really know what was changed with the waking vigil, basically it got a bump in both range and stability. It might have also got a slight buff in handling a reload. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was primarily a range and stability buff. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a five out of five perfect waking vigil. The one I have is a four to five because we unfortunately don't have ricochet rounds. But outside of that, we have steady hand HCS, range finder, opening shot, and a range masterwork. Keep in mind, if you were actually able to get ricochet rounds on this exact waking vigil that I have right here, you'd have 52 range and 67 stability. And 140s, you typically want to hit around 68 stability. So that would be a pretty perfect roll. And I think this hand cannon is going to perform a lot better than it used to. I'm going to be pairing the waking vigil with the chaperone, not the Ragon Hill this time, because unfortunately Ragon Hill did just get nerfed. The zoom they had on it was an accident, which I kind of assumed. And I might actually make a video on that. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, though, I'm also going to be using bottom tree storm caller, Ophidian aspects, and all these armor mods right here. Anyways, I will see you guys in the crucible. We're starting this one off with some rumble because you know, your boy is washed. I've been playing Apex all morning. So I'm gonna be kind of trash in this first game. Well, maybe, maybe we might be kind of good. We're gonna three tap that guy. And I mean, we're off to a decent start, but for real, no, oh my God, Lamar caught swap. Oh no, dude, that is not, he's lagging so hard. So we have to play against a Lamonarch hot swapper that is playing at McDonald's. Wow, this is going to be a very fun crucible match. I'm gonna throw a nade right here. This guy might peek out front door, maybe not. So this game really isn't going as planned so far. Oh, th no, dude, what is, what is that? I'm no, I might actually just back out, bro. He is using the most overpowered loadout in the game and you can't shoot him. Like he's literally teleporting. Like Lamonarch caught swap, that's, you know, that's, that's, oh God damn, bro, that overshield. But that's one thing. It's just having that lag on top of it, man. God, that is really, really hard to beat. Invis guy right there. I actually almost did not see that guy because it's really, really hard to see Invis right now. I kind of wish they didn't change the color, but I'm not really going to complain about it too much. There's a guy on my right. We're going to shotgun him. Also, good to see my arc. No, no, no. That guy's a fusion. Okay, we're actually going to back up because I don't think I win against that fusion rifle. He might chase, so we're going to throw a nade right there. Lamonarch guy. Oh my god, dude. Like, ah, I land every single... He's lagging so hard, man. Bro, I really don't know if the PvP servers got worse or something with Witch Queen, but I've been noticing a few more laggy players. You know, somebody actually did just leave the game, probably because you can't shoot back at this Lamonarch guy. Here's him again. Oh my god. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I, I, do I just uh, try to shotgun him? I, I don't know. I... Hey, yo, what the fuck? What? What is going on with that guy? I'm actually so lost with what's happening in this match, bro. Like, I don't know if I can continue playing this PvP, bro. I don't. Like, what? <laughs> what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell, teammates? Bro almost threw me into the wall off rip. Anyways, we're in a new Crucible match for uh, obvious reasons. You know, last game didn't really go as planned. I'm not gonna lie. And you know, that may or may not have been because one of the players in the lobby was literally basically unkillable, dude. The, uh, the Lamonarch guy was uh, way too overpowered. Bro was a raid boss. We're gonna throw a nade in here because there is somebody camping in the corner. And I don't really want to push in here because, uh, dude, I'm gonna have to use a sh He's still here? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought my teammate pulled up and uh, killed the guy in the corner. I guess I was wrong. That was kind of a laggy uh, kill with the hand cannon right there. We're going to take that guy out as well. I don't want to camp the outside too much here, but uh, I don't really have a choice on Anomaly. I'm not going to lie. 
We might be able to catch somebody wrapping around. We're going to shotgun that guy. He actually flinched the living hell out of me. I'm very surprised we got that chaperone shot. Might be able to catch somebody jumping up over here. We don't have enough range for that. That's the one thing I really don't like about opening shot. It kind of tricks you into thinking you have more range than you actually have because that first shot is like always a 70 and then you start hitting like 62s and you're like, damn, I can't even three tap from this far. We're going to wait this out right here. There's a dude in the corner. I'm hoping my teammate pulls up. We're going to throw an aid right here. So this guy has to get out of the Banana! corner. That, should, that might kill him. It's going to kill the Titan instead. Okay, we got the Hunter finally. Wait, is it? Oh, the smoke bomb. Bro, that tricked the shit out of me for no reason. There should be somebody coming up from behind. That guy had a fusion rifle. Not really the best strategy from him. He should have uh, kept a little bit more distance. Might be able to get somebody through the store on the backside as well. We're going to ape this guy with a hand cannon. Might not be the best idea. And I don't know what is going on, bro. Today, like, the connection in these lobbies is kind of weird. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, a slightly weirder TTK is fine. But uh, as long as they're not teleporting like that first guy, I really don't care. I could definitely landfall the next person I see. That guy just got shappied. I'm pretty sure somebody's heading up on back ramp right here. As, oh, never mind. This guy's actually heading all the way around. Might be able to catch him on C, though. I'm just actually going to super this guy. Kind of a scummy play, but uh, it's got a... Dead, let's go! Get the fuck out of my game! Um, landfall is coming off. No, we're going to throw on Chaos Reach. Chaos Reach is kind of garbage, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm not ever going to use landfall again after what I just witnessed. It's just not going to happen. Like, seriously, how in Smurfs Village did that guy not die? Like, I, I actually don't understand this guy's going to eat me as well. Never mind. There's a guy in middle piece. That guy's hand... Wait, was that Hammers? What was that? Okay, I'm a complete dumbass. That wasn't Hammers. That was the uh, the new Titan helmet. Like, it, it has this, like, solar thing. So I thought he had a solar super for some reason. Turns out I'm just a dumbass. And that is the game already. Yeah, we already lost. And I got the Outbreak Catalyst. You know, new video coming soon? Possibly. I'm not sure. Real quick, I just want to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Blazing Boost. If you guys are ever struggling with LFG groups and you really just can't seem to get anything done, Blazing Boost has your back. With over 20,000 five-star reviews, Blazing Boost is easily the most trusted Destiny 2 Sherpa service out there. They offer Sherpas for literally any Destiny activity that you can think of, whether that's Trials of Osiris, Master Raids, Nightfalls, or even Divinity Runs. And for the time being, you guys can use my code GRAVELY in all caps for a 5% discount at checkout. Once again, huge thanks to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. Alright, I'm gonna play one more game for y'all because, you know, the first, the first game didn't really count, alright? That was like half a game. The dude was lagging to Uganda. We're not counting that, right? We need more games for the video. There's a player up here. We're gonna challenge him with a hand cannon. This guy's only level 1 on the season. I think he literally just started playing. Or, I mean, literally, it is a new season, so I might just be, uh, be playing for the first time. There is somebody coming through apartments right here. He did land the first shot, so I didn't think we were going to win that fight, but we still got it. Um, what is this guy doing over here? With what? Does he not? He doesn't care? Okay, like, I'm just dumping headshots into that guy, and he didn't even turn around, which is really, really weird. Should be a player who just spawned in the back over here. We're going to go for the shotgun kill, completely choke it, and then get the kill. Hello, Bozo. No, dude, Lamonarch player. Oh my god, bro, give me the trade. Holy, I, I mean, we, we got the kill. We didn't even have to trade. I, I'll take it 100%. There is nothing scarier as a warlock than seeing that, bro. As soon as you pop your rift, somebody is jumping over that shit trying to get a kill on you. We can't challenge that because he does have more range than us. As long as we're not challenging the uh, Lamonarch guy, we should be fine. I believe that guy has time payload, so we do have to take note of that because time payload, you cannot shoot back at that perk, which is, uh, I mean, it's kind of fair because it has that uh, increased TTK, so it does have a downside. There should be somebody who just spawned in the back over here running over the Shappy kill on him. I'm honestly kind of surprised we're not struggling too hard on the uh, range with the hand cannon on this map because it is Widow's Court, but I guess not too many people are using super long range guns besides the Lamonarch guy, which uh, I haven't really come across him too much. Um, this guy did just spawn right here. This is the Lamonarch guy. We're coming across him when he's AFK, which he was playing. It's really weird though. Why do people keep spawning in this spot while I'm chilling at this top platform? Somebody just spawned over here. Unfortunately, we were not able to uh, steal that kill. That guy has Lamonarch hot swap, man. I gotta be more careful. That loadout is so good. Hello um, there. what is this spawn? Oh my god. I, I had to hold my shotgun shot for so long on that dude. That spawn point I got was really, really bad. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, what can you do with Rumble spawn point sometimes? There's the uh, Lamonarch guy. He's dead. I believe somebody else is coming through the stairs. I might Chaos Reach this guy. I mean, uh, it's only one guy. We're just going to hit him with a hand cannon. He's dead. Perfect. As long as this isn't the Lamonarch guy, it's not. That actually didn't kill him. I'm really surprised. I thought he was a little bit closer than that, but uh, we got the kill anyways. We're chilling. 
Oh, here's the guy I just killed, bro. He's so far away. God damn. I'm actually surprised we three tapped him. So the first time we didn't kill him when I expected to kill him. The second time we killed him when I didn't expect it. I don't know what's going on. There's there's the invis guy with a fusion. I actually almost did not see him again because it's so hard to see. And we are going to... I was not expecting that. I'll take it. What a way to end the game. Also, holy loot, bro. I gotta, I gotta check it out. You know what I'm saying? I gotta check out the loot right quick. And, um... I'm kind of disappointed that that loot is not what I was expecting. So that is pretty much going to be all of the gameplay that I have for today's video. After using the newly updated Waking Vigil, I mean, it's definitely better than it was before, but it's hard to say that this thing is a lot better because, well, one, I haven't really used this thing in a minute, and two, I don't really think it seems like miles better than it used to be, but it definitely is a little bit better, and I think it's actually worth farming out now. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you're new around here, it never hurts to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys do want to go the extra mile and support me just a little bit more, I will have both my Discord and my Twitch linked in the description. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.